welcome to Play It or Not. My name, <clears throat> my name is Chris McLaughlin, and every once in a while, we have the honor of reviewing a very, very good game. Today is not the case. Today, I'm looking at SpongeBob SquarePants cart for the iPhone. If you love that little guy who lives in a pineapple under the sea, you're going to be in for a big disappointment. First of all, there are no cups in this game, only single races. There are three different types of racing, time trial, single mode, and buddy mode. Buddy mode is when you pick two players from the game and you have to end up in first and second place at the end of the race. It's really frustrating. The controls are pretty simple. You basically have four buttons, left, right, brake, and firing weapon. You don't control the speed, so the game does it automatically for you. As I just said, every character has a special weapon that they can use, in addition to weapons you can find on the track, Mario Kart style. The AI in this game is actually a bit hard, so unless you want to hear Daddy, Mommy, I need you to pass this level for me a hundred times, I'd skip out on the game for the little ones. And speaking of little, these levels are really small. And not only small, but pretty much the same. There's no variety between each level. It looks like they were sitting in a meeting and someone said, I got it. For the next level, we'll change the colors to brown and add a cactus. These kids are so high, they won't tell the difference. <sighs> At Mr. Craft Store, you'll be able to buy upgrades, new levels, and characters for the game. I think it's pretty lame that you start off with only one character and have to buy the rest of them. But this game is pretty lame all around. Even SpongeBob fans are going to be disappointed. The game is getting a 2.5. The graphics are so-so. The controls really aren't as smooth as they should be for a racing game. And the lack of variety is an insult to injury. Add to that the fact that all they did was paste the Spongebob universe to a horrible game without giving fans something interesting or unique, and you can see why I'm not impressed with this game. This is Chris McLaughlin saying, don't bother buying this one. There, I just saved you $2.99 on the iTunes store. You're welcome.